All right, all right. What's up, y'all? It's Uncle Chrissy. Want to uh, bring everybody a quick little in-hand review. One of my favorite new sneakers this year. Um, I've been trying to do a little bit more of these when I get things in hand. Um, I'm not really going to do all the, you know, early Jordans and Dunks for, you know, a year and a half down the road. But uh, we'll see what we can do. Today, I know I'm a little bit late getting this one out there, but I got the undefeated Terra Humaras. Uh, the Cargo Khaki. Oh. <clears throat> Undefeated is a brand that I love. Uh, I love their connection to sport. I love their overall aesthetic. Um, they're also one of the best sites out there for being able to cop sneakers manually. Uh, I put together a video, a uh, video guide of how to cop sneakers on, on Undefeated. If you have a Apple Pay um, iOS device, it can actually be your best friend. They're really, really good about making sure that, trying anyway, to make sure that real people get these pairs in hand and not bots. So check them out. Check out the video. I'll put a link to it at the end. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it with the Undefeated Terra Humara's the Cargo Khaki. Um, first up, I'll talk about the packaging. Uh, nice little design on the box. I love the aesthetics overall. They're muted, neutral tone. Um, Undefeated on the box there. Take a little look all the way around it so you can see. Get in on the label there. I love the striker label too. The five spot, love it. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. First thing when you open up the box, you got a cool little detail. Uh, Play Dirty is kind of the name of this pack overall. This is the, I don't know if it's the third or fourth uh, colorway in this pack, but they've done there was a black pair and then like a white, blue, and brown pair that dropped a couple of months ago. And now they dropped these ones alongside the Mentha Green. A really, really live and vibrant colorway. Um, the Terra Humaras, you know, from back in the, I want to say early 2000s, maybe late 90s. Uh, part of like, a, you know, an outdoor kind of shoe. Um, definitely meant to be rugged. Definitely meant to be gotten after. That's why they call this one Play Dirty, as you can see. Uh, cool paper on the inside. Let y'all see it on the end there. Again, more undefeated branding. Now let's get into the kit. So, all right, so first things first. What do you notice about the colorway? Let's see, let's get in there for you. Give a nice little 360 on it. undercarriage, insole. Um, yeah, what's the first thing we notice about this colorway? Yep, it is very, very similar to the undefeated Jordan 4, which was the first Air Jordan collab with a, uh, you know, with a boutique. Um, so it's really, really cool to see them bring that aesthetic back with the olive green, the hints of orange, and the, uh, the dark charcoal black kind of vibe. So let's get into the shoe a little bit because there's a lot to go around here. Um, so first up, like you said, overall, this color schematic, I absolutely love it. I love the cargo green. That's uh, one of my favorite colors um, on the toe box. See right here, you got this kind of canvasy. Uh, I don't know if it's ballistic canvas, but it looks pretty tough. Uh, maybe nylon, uh, but it's in this really dark gray kind of steely colorway. Um, around the toe box and the mud guard here is a suede. Um, again, in that olive green. And then you got the uh, the crap kicker on the front door there. Uh, so it's a rubberized. Um, it's a rubberized tip. I uh, got the little spike similar to what you've seen with some off-white models, but it's definitely meant to be to be beaten up. That way, you know, you're chopping through the woods, doing some hiking or something like that. You don't got to be afraid to go head first into it when you got something like that on there. Uh, 3M detailing in the front pieces right here. Again, a nice touch. And then as we move on to the medial, um, you got the khaki cargo khaki i guess um sorry it looks green to me i hard not calling a khaki uh, but you got that on the overlays with the nylon set underneath um you got again another 3m panel kind of humping around right here and then you got some black new buck uh underneath um you see on the one side play dirty um another cool little detail you know revs up the name of the uh name of the shoe you got the miniature swoosh towards the back with the undefeated tag um give you a little bit more of the branding move around to the back and you have more of that hard rubberized uh material gives you a little bit of a bumper i guess if you back up into anything um you ain't got to worry about it. if you're running around new york city with these and somebody steps on your kicks you really don't have to worry about it uh undefeated branding on the um heel tab right there as well 
the instep, you know, the uh, the shoe liner right here is that same kind of dark steel, carbon, whatever you want to call it, um, nylon. And then again, on the inside, it's pretty much just a mimic of what we saw on the outsole, outside, sorry. Uh, the, green, the gray laces come standard with it. We do have a, uh, what looks to be like a speckled cargo khaki um, on the other pair. Uh, but let's... Uh, Let's get into it a little bit here. Cool little insole, unfortunately it is glued down. I don't want to wreck them, um, but I'll give you a little peek inside there. That you see a little bit more of the khaki, um, some footprints, things like that. On the undercarriage, uh, you got that speckled kind of graffiti kind of vibe to it. Um, again, the dark gray, white and black speckles, the hits of orange going throughout it. Again, bringing in that Jordan 4 colorway. The midsole, it's uh, it's not sale. It's definitely a little bit more yellowish, maybe khaki. Maybe that's what the cargo khaki is. Maybe that's what it is. The same color as the swoosh on the midsole. Um, you see exposed air bubbles on the heel. It gives you a nice bit of comfort. Um, let's talk about sizing on these for a minute. Um, I'd say they go true to size. Um, I'm starting to change my stance on things a little bit. I used to say that 10 was my true size because that's what I wore in Jordan 1s. And then I would, you know, go up a half size uh, here and there. But what I'm starting to realize is that 10 and a half is my true size. And then I actually go a half size down in Jordan 1s because they're a little bit uh, looser. Um, so I went with a 10 and a half on these. They are good. I will say that it is a touch tight. If I got an 11, I wouldn't be mad at it. Um, but you can feel free to go true to size. If anything, go a half size up. Me, one foot, my one foot is bigger than the other. Other, so you know one will be tight and the other one won't but i went with the ten and a half i'm not mad at it whatsoever it's a good bit of comfort to the shoe you're not gonna it's not like a 350 boost or anything like that where it's that soft comfort it's more like a uh like a boot you know how boots have that kind of structured kind of comfort to it it feels like that um, but with a little bit more uh overall cushion to it um i'm gonna put in some on foot on on bleh I'm gonna throw some on foot in here at the end of the video, so definitely stay tuned for the stitch coming to that. I'll put that up in just a second, but let's take another little look all the way around on both pairs. So the undefeated Terra Humara Cargo Khaki. Really, really love this shoe. I really do. Um, it's everything that's cool about sneakers right now, everything that's popular. It's chunky, it's a, it's a dad, so, dad shoe if you wanna call it that. It's got some comfort to it. It's a high level collab. I'm absolutely in love with this shoe. I'm gonna go so far as to be bold and say that I could absolutely see this shoe finding it into my personal list of sneaker of the year. Absolutely, no question about it. The quality is top notch on it. The materials are top notch on it. The aesthetics are top notch on it. It's functional. You can wear it out in the streets. You can wear it in a hike, on a hike. Um, you don't really have to worry about this shoe getting wet. It's got some 3M hits to it, so it glows in the dark a little bit. And uh, yeah, it's stylish too. It's got some nice cargo peel. So. I love this shoe. I really, really do. Um, undefeated, props to y'all for putting this one together. I've got a few undefeated collabs in my collection so far, and I am very happy to have added this one. Uh, let's see, real quick, overall, overall on this one, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it an 8.3. Like I said, I really, really like it. I love the materials. I love the design. Love all of it about it. I love that you get a little bit of nostalgia from when I was younger with the Terra Humara. And uh, props to Undefeated. Stay tuned. Got some on foot picks coming up next. Um, then stay tuned. I got another one coming up today. We're going to do some ASICs. And then, uh, yeah, stick with me on the channel. Make sure you got the noti set because I do like to pop out a lot of late breaking information for your shot drops and all that. Until then, Uncle Chrissy signing off. And please do me a favor. Drop a like and a sub on the video. It means a lot. Undefeated Terra Humaras. Peace.